Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today we are going to be taking a look at the Lux Mento Navy Lamp Rescue 2. This is a brand I was unfamiliar with, found them through Instagram and then started speaking to the company and we agreed upon having a review. This is the PBD version with the full loom dial as you can see because it has the white dial with the black markers and hands. There are other variations available as well, uh, stainless steel versions, a couple of different dial choices, so you can check out the website for that. It comes on a black silicone rubber strap. As you can see, it has the white stitching, gives it that appearance of rubber. It is silicone, so it is going to catch some lint and dirt. Uh, I've been wearing this for about mm, two weeks, and uh, less lint and dirt that is attracted to it than some other silicone straps. So it's more of a higher grade of silicone than I've seen, you know, on some other brands. So 44 millimeter case. You have it is definitely that Benrus Mill Diver styled case. I'll give you a better look here at a minute. Sapphire crystal, Ronda 515 quartz automatic or uh, quartz movement. It's about 14 millimeters thick. 54 millimeter lug to lug width and you have 22 millimeter lugs for the strap Let's take a closer look here the price uh, As of today it is May 19th and the price uh, to USD the current conversion is about $179 so that can fluctuate a little bit depending on the euro. The company is out of Spain. As I said, this is the Navy Lamp Rescue 2. You can see right there on the dial, it is 200 meters water resistant. This is a full loom dial. And it might be hard for me to pick up here on video. I'm not sure. I'm going to try and give you the best look at it as I can. As you can see, the hands are a matte finish black, but the dial, and I think there we go, get a good look at it there when I uh, move it back and forth, the dial markers are high gloss. And you really notice this when you're out in the sunlight and, uh, you know, you turn the watch a little bit and you can see the sheen coming off that. Here's a look at the crown side of the case. The bezel is a little sharp. There's a, some sharp edges here that could have probably been filed down a little bit more. And now it's not a problem when you're turning it or anything. It's actually very, very grippy. Um, but you know, you know, if you're putting your hand into your pocket or something like that, it could catch on it a little bit. Basically, what I end up getting is some threads on, you know, threads or string on it that, uh, you know. I'm wiping it off or I, you know, got a cut on something. But other than that, it works very nice. The crown is unsigned. I would have liked to see maybe there, that logo on the crown there. You have a brush finish, satin finish on the entire watch, except for the crown. And of course, you got a glossy aluminum bezel insert. I give you a heads up shot here as you can see like I said it's that mill diver case where this side extends out a little bit more and then the crown screws down into the crown guards which are actually part of the case as I said the bezel itself now you can see a little bit of play but not much and nice firm clicks here lines right up there is the case back with their logo nice engraving on there as I said the strap is silicone it's a padded silicone so you see the part of the strap here is padded and you have the white stitching to kind of give it that look of leather now the watch also came in the shipping box and as a matter of fact I have the little box right here that off a little bit so you got Lux Mento Rescue Watch it's a very tiny let me do this off camera here because there's a couple 
of snaps on it. But it's a very tiny looking little um, Pelican style box. Now, my only issue with that is, is now, it, of course, as you see, it came in the bubble wrap. I would have liked to seen because unless you're bubble wrapping the watch other, all the time, you really probably wouldn't want to store it in here because you don't want to get it knocked around with the plastic and it would be loose. would have been nice to see some foam on the inside of here uh, for some protection. Again, we are talking a watch at a price point of $175. So, you know what? Let's concentrate on the watch and not the case, but I just wanted to show that to you real quick. Now, it also came to me uh, on this NATO strap with the stainless hardware. I'm not sure why they sent, uh, sent the tan. Uh, maybe that was just a mistake when they were getting uh, the review model ready for me. Um, I, did, I know they do have black ones as well. And that was the other thing I wanted to point out. Um, probably should have went with a PVD buckle for this as opposed to the stainless steel to match the watch. But again, uh, that could have just been a little bit of oversight on their part. Um, sometimes, you know, when they're trying to get these watches out for review, uh, you know, they hastily um, are trying to get it rushed out. So uh, not a big deal. That is a good look at the watch. Let me uh, pull out the crown here. It is a screw down crown, of course. Okay. Screws back down fairly easily, no issues there. Now, one thing of note, and I'm going to, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show the exact thing I'm talking about on video, but I'm going to point it out here. Now, I have never really had a full loom dial. As a matter of fact, you know, offhand, I cannot remember, I think this might be the second full loom dial I've ever had. And um, so I'm not sure if this is a common occurrence or if it's something specific to this watch. Now, as you can see, the minute hand is definitely raised above the dial. But as you can see, the hour hand rides completely, completely flat on the dial. There is no space under that as all whatsoever. So what happens is, is when you charge this up with loom or, you know, you come in from the sunlight, whatever, bright room, and the whole dial is glowing. As soon as, you know, the hand starts to move, you're going to see a space where it didn't get any loom on it. Now, not a big deal. I, you know, that's not something that bothers me or whatever, but I just wanted to point that out. And again, it could be, that's just the way it is. Uh, but I wanted to point it out. So what I'm going to do here, or I'm going to try my best, uh, because i got a bunch of studio lights on here. I'm going to uh, give this a quick flash, and then uh, turn off the lights, and uh, give you a look at the uh, loom on it. just turn off there is still going to be one studio light on because it's hard for me to go ahead and reach that but there is a look at the loom dial now i charge that i think just what five to seven seconds whatever so it's not fully charged but there's good uh, you know a look at it now for a much better look at the loom check out the full review at watchreport.com I'm going to turn the lights back on here because, hey, we're not filming a horror film. Haha, <laughs> it's a watch review. Let me uh, put it on the wrist here real quick. For reference purposes, I have a 7.5 inch wrist. And there's a look at it on the wrist. Still have a couple of holes left there, so man, maybe about a seven, six and three quarter inch wrist it could fit up to. And got a couple of holes left there, so I'm gonna probably say eight inch wrist maximum 
with the silicone strap that is included. So there is a look at the Luxmento Navy Lamp Rescue 2, a very, very affordable diver. Like I said, they have these in stainless steel versions and a couple of different uh, dial options. So uh, check out their website. There'll be a link in the full review at watchreport.com. Leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll never miss another video review. Check us out on social media. We're on all of them, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, keep up there with uh, some spy shots of upcoming reviews and other things that we post. Check us out on our forum. You can see a link to that on the uh, Watch Report website. You know, you know, come over, sign up, have a conversation. Let's talk about some watches. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.